My name is Kayla Fisher. I'm from Roseboro, North Carolina. I am a cheerleader and a senior. So describe to me what is, what is Roseboro like? Roseboro is a small community. We have two elementary schools, one middle, one high school. We probably only have one stoplight, so everything is close together. So what, everybody knows everybody mostly. What was your high school like? My high school was 1A. We were small. It wasn't two stories. It was one from one end of the high school to the other. But everybody knew everybody. It wasn't like 300 people in one school. Would it was you? only 300 people? No, there oh. was probably not even... There wasn't a lot of people. It wasn't like 4A or 3A or anything. Yeah. It was 1A, so we were small. Did you cheerlead in high school? Yes, I started cheerleading in 7th grade, and I've been cheering ever since. So from 7th grade to senior in college. Uh, what made you want to start uh, cheerleading? Um, well, I took dance for a while in the middle school. I wanted to participate in a sport, so I decided to try out for cheerleading. So I made the team, and I've just been cheering ever since. So how have you grown personally since your freshman year? I would say coming in, I was very shy, very quiet. Um, didn't really talk about much, and from senior year now, I'm just... Just came out of that shell and now more outgoing. And you're a captain on the cheerleading team, right? Yes. Okay. I've been a captain. I was a captain junior year and senior year. And how do you feel about that? Um, I like it. I feel like it's a it's an honor to be a captain on the cheer team. We do a lot of things, as in stunts, jumps, cheers, you know, and leading them through all of those. It's a very fun experience. And do you feel like being a captain, you were kind of forced to come out of your shell a little bit? Yeah, I would say so because you're the leader. You have to take that role and initiative in leading the team to make them better and improve. Did you struggle with that for a little bit? Um, I would say so because I was quiet. So having to be more talkative and step up and be like, hey, you guys, like, let's do this. I mean, but I'm glad that I did get that opportunity because now I'm just... Just out there. <laughs> what kind of leader do you think you are? I think I'm good as in um, organization. So like, we're going to do cheers right now. I mean, we'll call the cheers, tell them what we need to work on, and then just improve from there. Same thing with stunning-wise. If we're stunning, because in stunning we stunt, so one goes up in the air, you got to be supportive and like, hey, you can do this, you got this. Just stand up, be tight. Have y'all um, done any like competitions or anything? Um, we went to competition my freshman year, um, and we got second place. So I'm hoping that we'll go this year. And when is that? What is that like? Um, competition? Um, it's fun. It's in Myrtle Beach. It's called Beach Bash, and we compete with other teams that are in our category. So we we would be small, all girl because we don't have any guys. So we would compete against other schools. That are the same. What is your favorite memory so far um, throughout your college career? Um, probably going to the Elite Eight and going to Indiana. I mean, I think that was a fun experience. Like, we're at the national level yeah. supporting the basketball team in the Elite Eight. So, I think and that overall, arena, was, too. The arena yeah, was, was It was huge. Yeah. It had the little thingy. What's it called? The no. jumbo truck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would your senior college self tell your senior high school self? Probably not to stress. Like, you might get that bad grade on a test or something, but, I mean, just study harder to get the job done. Done. Don't just stress about one grade because there will be more opportunities to bring that grade up or hit that stunt, if we're talking about cheer, that you didn't hit at the game because there's going to be another quarter that you have the same chance. So not to stress yourself out, not to worry. Just... Keep going. What, what has been the most difficult time for you since being here? I would probably say being away from home and like being away from my family. And how'd you, how'd you get through it? How'd you get over missing home so much? Um, probably like making friends here, you know, cheering, that's one. Having my teammates and stuff. What would you say about your cheerleading coach? if 
she was sitting right here. So. I would say she's very like motivational. Like if you don't hit something in practice, I mean, we just do it again. But it's like constructive criticism. So if your emotions aren't looking right, I mean, she's gonna tell you, but it's all good because she's trying to make you better and make us look better on the court when cheering. And how has her constructive criticism impacted you so far? Um, I would say with stunting, because sometimes with stunning you can hit a mental block, for example. Stunning, because I'm the flyer, so I'm the one they throw up in the air. So you got to have a lot of trust in your bases and your back spot. They're going to catch you whenever you um, come out of the stunt. So I would say, like, motivational-wise, she would tell me just to stand up and be tight. If we're trying a new stunt, just... Don't think about it, just do it. I mean, I think that's the best advice you can have. Like, just do it, not think about it, because then if you think about it too much, then it might throw the whole stunt off. What's your favorite time during a basketball game? Probably when, like, the crowd gets excited and everybody just, it's like a really close game and people are on the edge of their seats and it's just like, really, everybody's excited and, rallying on. I think when the whole crowd gets involved that's the most like exciting thing and stunting. So I'll say that.